In this video, we are going to talk about Mars conjunct with Saturn, which are the best ascendants, placement, and what are the secrets of having this conjunction in your birth chart. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. So before we start Mars conjunct Saturn, I want to tell you something. I am conducting a free live training for more than three hours on 15th of January, 2022. 11 a.m. Indian Standard Time. If you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, join me on that live training. It's free. Reserve your spot. Click the link into the description section or the pinned comment and just um, reserve your spot for free. Okay. And I will see you in the classroom. But before that, let's talk about Mars conjunct Saturn. What is Mars? Mars is the planet which is all about your energies vitality and all the stuff which is important to you okay now mars is also about the real estate like land and building and is also about your siblings mars is also the planet the mars the name of the mars itself is mangal which is good okay it is the planet which brings in the energy into your life Mars shows the masculine energy into one's life. We all have the masculine and feminine energies. Mars is the representation of the masculine energy in one's life. Even a woman has Mars in its um, birth chart. And man also has a Venus. We talked about it. But Mars is the planet which shows one's ability to initiate things, start things with enthusiasm and take it to the logical end. Mars is also the planet of logic, strategies, tactics, especially in sports. Mars is the planet which resonates with energy. But this energy is different from that of Sun. Sun is more like a soulful energy which is more about health. But Mars is about doing things. Mars is about actions, goals and being focused in one's life to achieve the material things okay mars is the masculine energy which goes out and achieve things which makes it feel good let's talk about saturn what is saturn saturn is the planet we talked about it saturn is the planet of negativity saturn is the planet which brings in restrictions saturn brings in fear in your life saturn will bring in the reality check in your life so wherever you have saturn placed in in fact that's the base houses or best signs in your chart because there you will experience some kind of challenges difficulties and you will focus on those area you will be uh, drawn towards that area to fix those areas in your life and those houses and rushes which does not have the aspect or association of saturn you have to be more careful about those houses because now there are no checks of saturn on those houses and the rushes okay so you have to be uh, you have to guard them against you know going all over the place now saturn is also the planet which brings in the responsibility responsibility makes you work saturn is the planet which brings in a lot of responsibility in wherever it is associated with saturn is the planet of restriction fear and more so it is the planet of work. Saturn is the karka of the karma. Saturn is the planet which shows your true karma. Okay. And Saturn is the planet which is the planet of success. Because when you have a reality check, when you are conscious, when even if you are afraid, when you are conscious, when you have the responsibilities and you like to work, that's what makes you successful right so when the preparation meets the opportunity you become lucky so saturn is the planet which is all about continuous work relentlessly working towards certain goals more than goals it is the service the seva the disciplined and uh, uh, focused service is what saturn is more interested in Rather than doing it for the material gains, he is doing it, one, for the security because he is afraid of the, going to the other end 
and second is doing it to help the underprivileged people to help those who does not have the privilege to work or any kind of privilege okay so saturn loves to work those work and help those people and help them rise in their life that makes saturn that's that's make saturn happy and he's always continuously working towards that goal so what are the effect of mars and saturn conjunct first of all mars and saturn are enemies what <laughs> yes mars and saturn does not get along well because saturn is a guy who is patient mars is impatient saturn does not like to do anything aggressively or do it uh with you know uh unnecessary aggression or rash actions saturn is a well planned and disciplined person so he does not like to do random things without any planning so whatever he will do it's already been planned and if there if it, if it is not in his calendar he won't do that that's saturn but when it comes to mars mars is the planet of impulse mars is an extremely impulsive planet okay when at one moment he might think that okay let's let's go to the gym and work out and the other day or you know the next moment he might feel that okay let's cancel that go for the trek or go for the hiking saturn cannot adjust to this impulses the saturn is a well planned guy so if he has to hit the gym in the morning he will plan his day even before the last night how is going to sleep at what time he will sleep so that he will have complete sleep and get up early in the morning that's saturn and mars is like okay I, today i feel like going to gym and at 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock he just decides to go and hit the gym no saturn doesn't like that so when saturn conjunct with mars it's a contradiction and they are also enemies so they don't um think like so they don't think in a similar way they have polar opposite way to look at things okay now mars is the planet of aggression and saturn is the planet of fear the planet of aggression conjuncts with the Sat uh, saturn which is the planet of fear so what it does is wherever saturn is placed in or whenever saturn conjuncts any planet it brings in fear into that person but when it conjuncts with mars you have to examine this conjunction carefully because mars is energy and if you don't channelize this energy it can okay so you have to analyze this conjunction carefully okay now though these two of the, okay saturn is the planet which is about okay mars is the planet of energy and saturn is the planet of you know restrictions so saturn and mars conjunction makes person feel uh uptight in a certain um, in certain areas of life wherever saturn and mars is placed in you will feel uptight into that area of your life why because saturn is about restrictions and mars is about going all out it brings in the con contradiction in that house okay so no matter how difficult this conjunction seem one thing is clear you know do you do you know that the mars gets exalted into the sign of capricorn and capricorn is the sign ruled by mars okay now so this was the negative side of mars and saturn conjunction on the higher side i love this conjunction because what is the sign of exaltation for the mars mars gets exalted into the sign of capricorn and capricorn is ruled by saturn what yes saturn is the ruler of the sign of exaltation for the mars because here now mars likes the 
discipline of Saturn. Mars, martial energy get an outlet and a purpose when it is associated with Saturn. Saturn is the planet of karma, Mars is the planet of energy. So the planet of energy conjunct with karma, lot of work. These people are capable of doing great work in their life. I have seen these people having lot of responsibilities in their life. So these people always are ready to take on new challenges. They are always ready to take on and work on the newer projects and achieve things. Saturn conjunct with Mars is a special conjunction. So Saturn is the planet of continuous work and Mars is energy. Loving this conjunction, right? So these people have greater abilities to work through and achieve greater things in life. Saturn is also about the legal issues in your life. It is also associated with the sixth house and Mars is the planet which is also about the impulsive actions. So these people have to be careful to follow the rules okay and follow the law which is Saturn. Saturn is the planet which is Mars is a planet which always like to you know uh, fight and fight against the establishments and Saturn is the planet of legal issues in your life or the law in your life. So when you have Saturn and Mars conjunct, I see this conjunction in the people who are taking stands in their life. They are fighting for some cause in their life. Let's talk about the best ascendance for Mars and Saturn conjunction. Mars and Saturn conjunction, I, I, I see the best results for this conjunction into the Taurus ascendant. Okay, though Mars is Marka, Saturn becomes Yogacarka planet. Okay, let's say um, even in Aries ascendant, it goes into the sign of Capricorn or in the 10th house or you know any house where uh, any of the planet is getting the strength, this, this conjunction will work better. Okay, let's say you have Saturn and Mars conjunct into the second house. Second house is the house of your family. But more than that, it is also about the house which, about, which is about the things which you value. So it gives you certain things to take care of. Okay, it makes you a reliable and dependable person for many others. Okay, so yes. And let's say you have Saturn and Mars conjunct into the sign of Capricorn in the 10th house or in ascendant or in you know uh, the first house it will be one of the strongest conjunctions in your chart okay now you have to analyze this conjunction and correlate it with your dasha sequence and you have to judge it with uh, uh, in connection with the vimshottari dasha okay then you will have the answers to when okay when these things can happen in your life okay so yes this was saturn mars conjunct as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you want to learn vedic astrology join me on that free live training link is in the description sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibration see you in the next videos love and peace namaste